Hello, welcome to another trans tutorial. I'm going to show you some baseline patterns today. I've got four here set up for you. Uh, it's just to guide those really that are just starting out or struggle with patterns. These are quite common patterns uh, and you can vary these and it's kind of a, your own decision how you chop them up and move the notes around. So I'm just going to show you here. I've got a side chain, a kick and the bass line. So what we'll do is we'll start with the first one. Let's just make sure the volume's okay. So the first one is just a rolling bass. It's just three notes, so you're just missing out the very first note of each bar. Now this is more of a typical pattern in trance, rather than just having two notes, because then you, s it's, it just sounds more techno-ish to me if you do this. But it's still trans, so you can do whatever you like, uh, but that's a good start for a rolling bass line. If I just take away this groove agent um, side chain, put it back, it just kind of gives a nice atmosphere to the uh, start of the a track. Uh, the second one is a rolling bass line again, but every middle note of that rolling bass line, three notes, goes up here. You just transpose it one octave up and you get this. It's another kind of very typical pattern. Like I say, you can chop these up. So we could put that one there. And it just gives you a bit of variation. There's all sorts you can do. Uh, the third pattern is another variation of the previous pattern. So you've got your rolling bass line and you transpose the middle note up here but then you transpose the two end notes and the middle note down here, so you're alternating this pattern here. So there's the alternating pattern, and then that just repeats, and you get this effect. So it kind of gives it more of a trippy feel, um, which kind of varies it up again when you add it on top of a rolling bass line as a supporting mid or high bass. Um, it's a good one to remember. And then this one is just kind of one I've chopped up, but it sounds good. See now, I feel that doesn't sound right, so we could put that there. And it just adds a bit of variation, and that's just me moving those rolling bass notes about. So it's all stemming from one pattern, which is here. Um, you can do on the beat, uh, but you tend to have a lot of side chain, so you do hear the note, but it's dramatically reduced to let the kick uh, kind of cut through. Um, there's all sorts of different patterns like that, but that's for a typical epic uplifting trance record. Uh, so what I'll do is they're in the link below to download these MIDI files. Go and grab yourselves a copy and I will see you in the next tutorial.